OK, so this video is a look at Hot Wheels, Kit and Kerr. Another TV show I loved as a kid was Knight Rider. I did do other things as a kid apart from watch TV, honest. I know it doesn't seem like it at times though. I was obsessed with this show as a kid. If you gave me a pencil and a piece of paper back then, all I would draw with it is Kit's dashboard. This is the only kit I had when I was young, which is quite a blocky version of him. It's a pull-back and go toy, but the motor doesn't work anymore. Most of the front red light is still there. And it has the night number plate in red at the back too. It has rubber tyres though, but still, it could have been better. I remember Ertl did a version of him, but I never had it. Hot Wheels did this version of Kit in 2011, which is as good as you would expect from them. It has the iconic red light at the front. This also has the night number plate on the rear, in the proper colours of yellow and blue this time. It has a beige interior, which is accurate. You probably can't see this, but it also has Kit's futuristic steering wheel and even stickers on the dashboard for some of his screens. At this scale, that's incredible. Sometime after I had this, I came across this. Car, the prototype and evil version of Kit, who was voiced by Peter Cullen, who also voiced Optimus Prime in the original 80s Transformers cartoon. In the show, Car is identical to Kit, all except the voice box. Kit's voice box was a red rectangle which blinked when he talked, whereas Car's was lines of green blocks which also blinked as he talked. The makers clearly preferred Car's voice box design, as after he was destroyed, Kit's voice box was changed to lines of red blocks. So Hot Wheels could have got away with just releasing Kit as Car, but they really tried to make them different. They've given him grey on his wheels and a grey trim at the bottom of the car. Car also has his name as a number plate on the back, but you'd have to be really close to spot that other difference between them. Together they make a really good set. I'm just waiting for Hot Wheels to do the other machine menace in Knight Rider, the huge semi-truck Goliath. Fingers crossed that happens. OK, so that was a look at Hot Wheels, Kit and Car, and hopefully you'll join me on another video sometime.